Mana Hinz Grandad. Tick off another little job today because it's raining, dusty, raining. We're going to drill another hole. So we've worked it out to about there. There's the swim, and it's for our bilge pump. And we're going to connect the breather and the chlorifier onto that as well. So so this was a job that AD finished before we started the painting. I'm ready. Perfect. God, the balloons are still here at these arms. <laughs> I go and see where we've come out. See if you've done it in the wrong place. down with panel degreaser and then uh, put a couple of coats of paint on it uh, well I put three coats of paint on it actually over two days yeah <laughs> Does it go through a thingy? No, because that's shallow, it's, it's in the ply. Time to put the skin fit in now, and as you might see, you might be able to see further down the boat. Um, down here, we've got the skin fittings for the sink and washing machine, but this is going to be for the bilge pump so we've decided that because we don't need it to drain by gravity it's going to be pumped out by the bilge pump we can fit it a bit higher so we're sitting in this above this rubbing streak so we know it's well above the water line so just a case of uh, putting some ct1 behind the back of it and gluing it into place there and then Passing it in from the back. So now we go back inside the boat and put this on the other side. CT1 around this bit, this edge of this washer. And that will stick onto the boat and then there's a big nut that will screw onto the back of that and tighten it all up. 
back inside the boat now so you say this bus collar is going to go on the skin fitting where the, it comes through the steel so another beader this horrible stuff seal it up Right, so that's in now. I'm just going to go outside and wipe all that excess off. I'm going to leave this on the inside because it's not seen, but you'll see the outside. So I'm going to smarten that up a little bit because it's obviously it's going to be seen and want it to look nice when it's painted. So uh, yeah, I won't show you that, but I'll just go outside and then do that now. Let that set and then we can carry on and fit all the pipe work from the bilge pump onto here. But you'll see that soon. This connection there is for the bilge pump so the bilge water will run up there through the skin fitting and then the pressure relief valve will come in the opposite direction and through the skin fitting and with that non return valve being just there no water can then flow back towards the calorifier so everything that flows 
through this pipe, through the tear piece, is going to go straight out the wall through the skin fitting. I'm running this bilge pipe along the floor in the chlorifier cupboard as low as I can get it and clipping it to the floor and up the side wall of the boat just so we can keep that floor area as clear as possible because obviously we need as much storage as you can and that's obviously going to be for a shoe cupboard or whatever. in there before wasn't it yeah so you got your pressure relief now going through there non-return valve so anything that comes that way from the bilge pump can't go back down there although this has got a non-return valve in there anyway but that's a non-return valve there and it tees off and goes straight through to the skin fitting this one carries on and down the boat down through the floor and then goes into the bilge and the bilge pump is going to sit where I'm sat at the moment under the steps so in here somewhere but that will, black pipe will connect to the bilge pump so and that um, non return valve yeah was handy just to reduce the size yeah from the this to that from mm. that to the bigger part to the smaller part because that only needs to be 15 mil or so yeah it's worked out well hasn't it yeah so just some clips to go on now just hold it tight it, just clip it there and, that's all and your reasoning for using copper pipe there just because it gives a bit more rigid because it's from there to there just to give it a bit more although it's going to be clipped there you could use plastic but Anyway, I've used copper. So just, but just to make it more stable. More rigid, really, yeah. 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 That's going to attach to there with a clip so it's all firm. 
And that's it. That's that finished. So that's the breather. Yeah. Is it called a breather? No, no. Pressure, that's a pressure relief valve. Pressure if, relief. Ever, if ever this colour will fire, say, say for instance the immersion heater thermostat stayed on and it boiled, there's nowhere for that boiled water to expand or go to once it's, you know what I mean? Mm. So it'll come through there and just vent to outside. Some people that I've seen that will put this just straight down to like a a two litre I mean, pot. pot, like yeah. a I milk, mean, milk, yeah. old milk thing and just dip the pipe into that but I don't want to do that. <laughs> no, no. no. Although it should never, although it, when it's working fine, that should never operate. But it's just a safety feature if ever anything does fail, that that's got somewhere to expand to, and that ours is going to expand outside the boat rather than expanding into a container on the floor. Yeah. Another little job ticked off, Grandad. Who are? So this is where we had left you in the last episode. Um, we have just finished painting the cabin sides, giving both sides uh, two coats each. And we had taken the, all the masking tape off and we was letting the paint cure for three or four days, about four days I think it was. Um, and now the weather's okay again so we're going to start sanding down to get the next the final coat on so we're just having a little practice with what what to use um, we think we're gonna carry on and go with these 320 we started off with 600 but doesn't seem to flatten it as good so these mesh tight ones we're gonna give that a go now we use these mesh ones on the hatch doors and that was really good but they did have four coats they're what sorry Merka. Merka. Auto net Merka pads we'll let you know how it goes it's really windy today so you might not hear anything got a bit of a sore throat and uh, bad chest at the moment so just taking all precautions a bit dusty this so masking up but I've steamed up now I can't see a thing
a tedious job sanding off all that good paint that you've just put on. I'd say and, it's heartbreaking, I would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, especially when you've got the, the shine just right and then you've got to take it off. But it is worth it in the end. It really did flatten it down, um, ready for the, for the next lot of play, paint. Um, some areas we uh, took a, a little bit too much off, we think, and then others perhaps not enough. Um, but it was all a learning curve and we got there in the end, really. Yeah, we just sanded around all the fine areas with hand sanded that way, obviously where you can't get in with the, with the orbital sander. But yeah, it worked out really well. Yeah. We've left the windows in while we've done this sanding. Um, because there's some rain forecast tonight and we'll take them out tomorrow when we start painting. So the paints again that we're using, in case anyone else is interested in these colours, it's from Symphony and it's Aqua Green and Tropic Blue. Both really nice paints. So we're using the neoprene glazing tape again. We actually had used this when we put the windows in temporary. Um, so it worked really well and we've never had any leaks um, and even though it was only put in temporary. So now we're gonna use that again, but we're also going to add a... Um, it's butyl tape. Yeah. Uh, not butyl tape, sorry. It's butyl, like a butyl mastic. Yeah. 
paint's dried just in time really, we've timed it right because um, this is forecast quite heavy rain tonight so getting these windows in was sort of quite urgent. Um, simple simple as these windows aren't they from cold wells, cold wells yeah. they just uh, push in and then you just put like little clips in and screw the clips up tighter and just work your way around until it gets uh, really tight simple and uh, we've never had a problem with any leaks or anything no. so all the green and blue paint is finished now um, it's just the coach lines that need doing right. we're masking up for the last time on the sides so just the coach lines to do again So again, we're working it. Adi doing the top lines, me doing the bottom. So it's been a lot cooler today, but it's boiling. And the gunnel is really hot, where it's black. Massive difference between the blue and green when you touch that compared to the black. And this is the tape coming off for the last time. No more layers. <laughs> 